This episode of the BIC Magazine Weekly Industry Report is brought to you by Draeger Rental and Safety Services, your trusted source for industrial safety services and technology. We'll share more about Draeger later in the episode. Welcome to the BIC Magazine Weekly Industry Report, your go-to source for the latest updates in the energy sector. I'm Samantha, your AI podcast host, and today is August 30th, 2024. In today's episode, Exxon's forecast on 2025 oil demand, One Oak acquires Medallion and Enlink in a $5.9 billion deal, and other top news from the energy sector this week. But before we get started, we ask that if you enjoy our podcast, please like, comment, and share it with your colleagues. Your support helps us grow and allows us to bring you even more exciting updates from the energy sector in the future. We'll kick today's show off with a prediction on the future of our industry as ExxonMobil announced that it expects global crude demand to remain above 100 million barrels per day through 2050, a projection 25% higher than BP's earlier forecast. This outlook supports Exxon's ambitious production growth plans, which include pumping 4.3 million barrels per day this year. The company also anticipates a slower decline in global carbon emissions compared to BP citing that technological advancements will only start significantly reducing emissions after 2029. Despite the rise in electric vehicles, Exxon predicts that global oil demand will remain robust due to population growth, with 67% of the global energy mix in 2050 still coming from oil, natural gas, and coal. However, this announcement comes with a warning from the company that without continued investments, oil production could decline sharply potentially causing oil prices to quintuple by 2030. Next up, One Oak has announced a definitive agreement to acquire Global Infrastructure Partners' 43% stake in Enlink Midstream for approximately $3.3 billion. This acquisition, along with the purchase of Medallion Midstream for $2.6 billion, significantly expands One Oak's footprint in the Permian Basin. The combined transactions will enhance One Oak's existing infrastructure, adding 1.7 billion cubic feet per day of gas processing capacity and 1.6 million barrels per day of crude gathering capacity. The acquisitions are expected to be immediately accretive to earnings and free cash flow, and One Oak anticipates annual synergies of $250 million to $450 million in the next three years. The company plans to maintain its headquarters in Tulsa, Oklahoma, while retaining a meaningful employee presence in Dallas and Houston. Our next story hits close to home as Port Houston announced that it experienced a 5% decrease in container volume in July 2024, handling 325,277 20-foot equivalent units due to challenges such as hurricane barrel and a global system outage. Despite the dip, year-to-date figures are strong, with a 10% increase in container volumes reaching 2,423,474 20-foot equivalent units. This growth is driven by a 9% rise in loaded imports and a 12% increase in loaded exports, particularly in the resin market, where Port Houston holds a 60% market share. In response to the continued demand, the port is enhancing its infrastructure with three new ship-to-shore cranes at the Bayport Container Terminal. Although steel volumes and general cargo declined, Overall tonnage remains positive, up 3% year-to-date, totaling 30,888,040 tons. Before we move on to our next story, a quick word from our sponsor. This episode of the BIC Magazine Weekly Industry Report is brought to you by Draeger Rental and Safety Services. From daily operations to large turnaround and shutdown projects, partner with Draeger for smart technical solutions that protects, supports, and saves lives. To learn more, visit www.draeger.com. For our next story, Ice Industries Holdings has announced the expansion of its North American operations with a new manufacturing facility in Lacassine, Louisiana. Set to begin production in early 2025, the plant will focus on roll-forming steel back rails for photovoltaic solar panels, supporting First Solar's new manufacturing site in New Iberia, Louisiana. This $6 million investment is expected to create 70 new jobs, with hiring beginning in October 2024. The facility will benefit from various economic incentives, 
and aligns with Louisiana's commitment to fostering growth in both emerging and traditional energy sectors. We'll wrap this episode up with a story from the nuclear sector, as BWX Technologies announced that its subsidiary, Nuclear Fuel Services, has secured a contract from the National Nuclear Security Administration to conduct a year-long engineering study. The study aims to evaluate options for deploying a centrifuge pilot plant to establish a domestic uranium enrichment capability for national security. This marks the next phase of the NNSA's domestic uranium enrichment centrifuge experiment, managed by Oak Ridge National Laboratory. BWXT, in collaboration with engineering partner Floor, will assess the centrifuge's performance, reliability, and life cycle costs, contributing to the U.S. government's efforts to develop a crucial uranium enrichment capability. And with that, we come to a close on this week's episode of the BIC Magazine Weekly Industry Report. You can head over to BICMagazine.com to read the full stories discussed today, and make sure to follow us on all of our social media channels so that you never miss out on the latest developments, updates, and announcements from the energy sector. Have a great day, and remember, it's what we do together that counts. Thank you again to Drager Rental and Safety Services for sponsoring today's episode. Make sure to visit www.drager.com to learn more about Drager's smart safety solutions for your facility. When safety matters, rely on Drager, technology for life.